This is one block Minecraft and I'm gonna be surviving 100 days on this one block making as much progress as possible and my end goal is killing the ender dragon. Nah, it's just picking one block over and over again. And also, please subscribe to this channel and join my Discord server, link in the description. This video took me so long to make, please do all of that. If you can't, it's fine, but please. This video will skip through a lot of parts that are not interesting to watch or repetitive, so that's why the days might be like 40 to 50 instead of just 40, 41, 42. So the video is going to be much more fast paced than usual because it's going to skip through a lot of days since it's going to be boring to watch all of them. So now with no further ado, let's start the 100 days in one block Minecraft. On the first day I would obviously break grass and expand my base using the dirt that I did get from the one block that was regenerated. After doing that, I got a oak wood, I broke it, and then a chest pond with two apples and a sapling. After that, I realized that I have to place a dirt block underneath the regenerating block, so I basically put all of my items into the chest I had and jumped down and placed the dirt. After dying to the void, I got a recovery kit, one over three, and it just gave me only one wooden shovel. After getting a water bucket from a chest I got, I tried to make a waterfall so if I did fall down to the void, I would have something to climb back up with. And after that, I just got my oak wood and expanded the base so I would have less of a chance of falling down to the void again. And after that, I obviously just went back to breaking the regenerating block over and over again. Then I got a chest with heart particles, I thought it was OP but then it only gave me oak wood and it was called a Benevolent Gift. After breaking the chest, I got an upgrade to a phase called the Plains. After that, I decided to grab all of my items and then make a tree farm but I only had enough for one sapling so boom there you go and then after mining it more, then I got a pig and that pig stared right into me. And then I killed it. After committing pig homicide, I also committed cow homicide. And after that, I just went back to mining over and over again for 10 years straight. Then I was upgrading for the next 10 minutes straight. And it's mostly self-explanatory, so I'll not try to explain anything that's happening in the background currently. After mining for a bit, I got another pig. I named it Joe and immediately tried to commit pig homicide again and ran away, but it still died in the end. Then another cow spawned, he plays fortnite so I murdered him. Now we're in day 2 and I already got some iron and have some stone tools and basically I skipped through most of it because I'm basically just punching that one block over and over again and I don't think you guys would like to see that. And the reason why there's weirdly so many dirt on my island is because whenever I did get a grass block I wanted to make it spread so then in the end I could you know get more grass block and maybe have a flower farm. At this point I just tried to make my island look a little better since it wasn't looking that great so yeah I also dug away the dirt because it wasn't working. After that a zombie spawned with a leather helmet so it wouldn't burn in the sun but I still did murder it. Then two spiders spawned and it did not attack me since it was in the daylight so I just killed them because you know there's no real use for them anyways. At this point, my goal was to just expand the base so I wouldn't fall and I had much more space to make like farms and farms and farms. Now I had a very great idea of like making a water flow system which will basically collect all the items and put them automatically into a chest instead of going into my inventory since if it all went into my inventory it's going to be really hard to sort them out. So yeah. It would basically flow like that into the chest and I also placed a hopper so I would collect items and put it all automatically into the chest. At this point I was just trying to make the thingy function much better so I broke that one oak wood block so I had access to open the chest and it didn't look that bad to be honest and I tested it and it honestly worked so it was great. At this point, I was just thinking of what I needed to do, so I just grabbed some wooden slabs from one of my chests and started building a staircase downwards so I could maybe build a farm below my base. After building some slabs, I went up 
and place some fences because it just it, it just looks good and after staring at my fox for a bit i place back the water from my machine collector whatever it's called and i got a polar bear yeah a polar bear a literal polar bear spawned on a one block island in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the void and it also killed my fox which made me kind of pissed i wanted to kill it but instead of doing that i caged it in my farm it was supposed to be a farm but then it turned out to be a horse and polar bear farm not a weed farm so yeah and i just continued to dig and the monster party happened it almost killed me just by breaking the blocks near me but then I, I I just I just jumped in and I paused the game and thought of my life choices and just just I, I I and now my mind was just regretting all of the things I did. At least I got like a recovery kit, a second one. Yeah, so I just expanded my base after that. Like nothing just happened, and on that new base it was supposed to be a oak wood farm. So I just dug some more holes so I could place dirt and plant some saplings. After planting the saplings on the small part of the island i made i decided to you know place more dirt because you know people say more saplings are better okay that was the most cringe thing i've ever seen said in this video and i can and then you know i i just bone mute then because i had nothing else to do and i went back to mining that one block over and over again until i got strays they look like homeless skeletons uh, legitimately after committing homicide again, I went to the chest and put my unnecessary items into it to clear my inventory. And it, this was the ocean phase at this point. And I got a diamond. Yes, finally a diamond. I can get diamond tools, which will be epic for the end game. And I'll probably need it to get netherite. So, you know, and obviously I just went back to mining over and over again for like 20 years. This is probably the most boring thing to do in this challenge since it's just nothing but just sitting there and mining and collecting stuff from chests. But how stupid I was because I did not have water at this point. So I could not, you know, really do anything and I couldn't really make the machine again. I really wanted the machine, but you know, I couldn't really make it sad my main goal here was to just you know get more diamonds maybe get full set of diamond armor which i did not get and i also expanded my base made a bridge the plan was to have a big mob farm in there but the more i thought about it a mob farm was not really necessary for me yes a lot of other youtubers that did this challenge did have a mob farm but i just did not think it was necessary so i did not have a plan concurrently but i would become a bamboo farmer using this little bridge that i built here after finishing up the bridge by making it look a little more fancy since you know if if i don't have fences i would fall anyways so why would i just place fences when i can place like whatever those type of fences are called i don't, I don't know what they're called i've seen it in a lot of like sky factory videos sky factory that's pretty nostalgic comment down below sky factory for if you guys have watched a youtuber or played it yourself sky factory is so nostalgic tell me if you guys agree and then the monsters came back with another monster party this is so stressful but then a monster guard spawned a monster guard by a what does this always happen to me so i basically just punched them off fought them off and i i i yeah i died again after dying again i respawned i was really pissed and i punched them off and yes that last monster guard is in my dog pen and i'm not happy about it so i yeah this whole my side again hit my dog and i was really sad dude i was so scared at this point i thought my dog would die then i got some sticks and some stones and i crafted a stone hole to complete my farm and i went to the place i made my farm for and and i killed one of the turtles i actually don't remember why i did it but i still did it i, I don't remember why and yeah, basically I hold mode. I don't know what it's called, the right, right word. Comment it down. Comment as much stuff as possible so I can get a lot of views easy. After that, I just, you know, just placed more seeds. I really needed seeds because I was an idiot and killed all of the cows and sheep and chickens that I got. So I did not have any way of getting meat. So I technically did not have any good food sources. So I had to have a farm, which was a very stupid decision of mine. And now I basically crafted some more slabs for my fences from Sky Factory 4. I'll call it the Sky Factory 4 fence from now on since I'll be mentioning this fence a lot. And yes, I'm speeding up the footage because it took quite long 
to build all of this much longer than i thought it would take actually and now i use the water that i got in the start to finish up my bridge and it took awfully long to break that one slab right there it's kind of funny and after i finished the bridge off i just went back and came back and you know just hop hippity hoppity and then did the fence you know the casuals what the casuals do every day just just placing blocks over and over again for e eternity and yeah i went back i don't know why do my dog was out by the way expanded the island that i created so that it can be a bamboo farm and after finishing off the island i actually did not start creating the bamboo farm yet since i did not have any bamboos at this point i did not have a plan of what the island was actually going to be so i just built for nothing I also realized that creepers were spawning on my map because I did not have torches so I got some torches, went to the creepers, tried to kill them but instead of killing them, it blew up my island and I had to rebuild. After rebuilding, I worked on my farm a bit, expanded it so I could get more crops and just went back to mining and I got ocelots, then I got a panda which was not bad and then guess what happened? I put it into a cage so I can start my slavery zoo. I mean, I mean, a entertaining zoo. After mining for a little bit more, I got witches. So I just killed them because they're the most annoying mobs in the entirety of Minecraft. All I did was just mine more and then I got a horse, a white horse, which is good. I put it into my fence cage and, you know, I named it Jamie, so... Jamie's uh, Jamie's a pogger and also I got these flying things. I don't know what they are and Yeah, I just, after that I just expanded my base. I kept mining and then guess what happened? A goddamn sponge came in and got rid of my water. It pissed me off so much after getting another horse I tried to put it into my cage. It was much harder to put him inside the cage than Jamie ever was so that's why I did not really like Jonathan and yes I am naming him Jonathan and after I put him into the cage with the last spruce fence I went back and realized that guess what I had another I had another horse and I just killed it because you know I don't I don't need another Jonathan then the most annoying happened and I got another monster party. This spawned with those flying things again and with some spiders. Not that hard, but it was really annoying. Like, really, really annoying. Probably the most annoying part of each phase. And yes, I killed all of them and I also got a parrot. I named him Parrot. And yeah, I got another upgrade and we were in phase 6, which was called the Red Desert. I also got a llama so I just pushed it into the fence that I made down there and yes I'm gonna be calling the zoo the slavery zoo so comment it down in the comment sections because if you do I will heart all of your comments just comment slave zoo and yes I kept mining and I got a diamond and this goddamn fox stole it so I you know committed the classic I send their homicide and it was dead and I got my diamond back, that goddamn thief. Another fox stole my lapis, but this time it was only one lapis, so I did not really care. I also crafted diamond boots and got the achievement cover me with diamonds. I also got a villager called Kai and I was stupid enough to think that it would automatically trade me, but you know, this isn't 1.8, so it did not really work. So I just put it into the fence and waited for myself to get a lectern. I also got some husks. They legit look like homeless zombies. Also a pillager. He looks like a homeless villager. And yeah, I expanded my base, made it look better. Also made my automatic water thingy work a little better by putting glass and just upgrading it, I guess. Making it look more like an Elon Musk product than anything. Now I was just, you know, I, I, I was just looking at my cage where the panda was and Parrot and Mr. Panda were having fun. I don't have names for them yet, by the way. And I just kept mining because literally that's the only point of playing this. To just mine that one block over and over. And day 51 to 54 was quite boring. I got a new NPC called Nancy. I tried to put him in, but then the other villager escaped. Kind of pissed me off, but then I created a new boat using birch. And then I trapped him in the boat and kidnapped him. 
and I put him back into his cage where he belongs so I can trade again. Also I bumped into my other boat. It, this is really annoying when it happens to me in my hardcore world or something. And yes, I'm going to be creating a 100 days in hardcore mode so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to see that. Yeah, that will be great. Day 55 to 58, I got Vincent and I murdered him because there was pretty much no use for him to exist in this world. I also got some husks including a pillager so you know i did the usuals and i just murdered them with my new shiny diamond sword day 58 to 60 i got a benevolent gift the heart chest you obviously know what this means after i break it i would get a bedrock and it would say upgrading in time and i'm phase 7 the nether the nether phase was really great because i could get ancient debris which could gain me netherite I also got these two pig fellas, I named them Joe and Anthony, and you know, I, I just very brutally murdered them. After doing that, I just went on a mining spree, mining a lot of stuff from my generator, is that what it's called? And then guess what I got? I got some giant, I mean really 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 giant pigs that tried to kill my llamas. And you know, you don't mess with my llamas, so I tried to fight them, but it did not really work out well since I kind of, I kind of died. Yeah. After dying to the giant pig, I got back my diamond sword, and yeah, I was really pissed. And I murdered them, and after murdering them, a blaze spawned in my water and took some damage, which was pretty funny. But then, uh, yeah, it set fire to my island, so I got pissed, and I, I just dropped him down into the void. He slowly just went into the void, and also this big head spawned. I don't know what it's called. Also, wither skeletons. I was hoping they would drop wither skeleton skulls. Maybe I can spawn a wither in the next episode, but instead of that, it dropped bones. It, I also got gas. Gas are awesome, but it's really, really hard to kill. It took me quite some time to actually manage to throw the fireball back at the ghast murdering him but it looked like this it was epic yes it was really epic i got two achievements one of them is literally bringing ghast to the overworld and killing them here it, it was pretty easy since it already spawned in the overworld and now it's day 62 to 65 i started working on my auto killing mechanism i tested some designs and in the end I put the lava with sign, but I realized that the mobs can't really die, so I fixed it up. But then I realized the mobs wouldn't really go into the lava, so I broke the sign and finally fixed my factory. I also got a blaze rod, but it, it randomly despawned. I really don't know why that happened, to be honest. And from now on, I'm gonna speed up the footage and skip through if you want, but I just sped up the footage because I want you guys to see me doing the bowing rock. But just in case you guys are interested in it, I just sped up the footage, so yeah. After getting my precious netherite sword, these big pigs spawned and annoyed the crap out of me again so I killed him with a bow. And after that, something worse happened. It got them monster party. I really hate these shit. And yeah, I did beat them, but in return, my whole island pretty much burnt. It was... my wood farm was pretty much gone. It, it was sad. It was really annoying as well. I was really pissed off. I even thought of quitting at this point. Legit. I don't usually think of quitting. This, this, is, this is just bad. I really did not enjoy this. And now it was time for me to fix up my base. So yeah, I just took a lot, like a lot, a lot of oak slabs and fixed up my base by filling in the gaps. I mean, I did change the design of my island a little bit, but... In the end, I think it turned out not that bad. And after doing some casual work in the town, I, you know, I didn't do that much stuff to be honest. I killed some blaze. I killed some piglins. I also killed some big heads. I also got a lava bucket, which is awesome. That means I could get obsidian for my future nether portal. 
or in this case I actually did not spend it on another portal and spent it on an enchanting table which I would use to enchant my netherite sword for sharpness too. I would also enchant my diamond pickaxe for efficiency 1. I really wanted unbreaking on it but sadly I couldn't get it. And now it was day 65 to 70. I was just expanding my base currently and I really don't know what's happening right now. I was just jumping around not doing anything and then I decided to do something so I just basically ended the gap and yeah I was working on my nether portal and guess what a goddamn gas spawned so I fought it and after killing it the same way I killed the other gas I just worked on other parts of the base like a cactus farm for example this cactus farm was much harder to make than I actually thought because cactuses can't be placed that way if you're gonna put a wall next to it since it's gonna break so I placed it in a parallel line instead and yeah it worked so I just went back to just mining and those goddamn big pigs spawned again and after killing them I kept working on my nether portal I kept mining and I got a very good chest with a wither skeleton skull and two netherite scraps which can be used to craft more netherite tools and after finishing my nether portal I actually went to the nether after grabbing a flint and steel from one of my chests but after realizing that the nether was pretty much the most useless place that you can actually go in this challenge you know I discovered it after I went there so I just went back and after going back I got one of those heart chests again this one was pretty good blaze rods and magma creams and some netherite which is really great and after breaking it I was in the new phase idol phase 8 this phase is one of my favorites since it's like so peaceful and yeah I just tried to trade with some villagers after realizing that its offers were all bullshit, I went to create a jukebox so I can play my favorite music. I think you guys can guess what that is. It's obviously Pigstep. Pigstep is just the best. Try to argue, you're gonna lose, trust me. And after going to mine for a little bit more, I got a bone horse. A bone horse. So I tried to put it in. It really did not go in. So I just waited for it to go in. And in the end, it, it actually just magically just went in by himself also got some bees i murdered them because they were being jackasses i really did not like them and i also got a monster party i hate these but this monster party was actually much better than the past ones it did not destroy my entire island instead it just spawned a couple of bees and yeah i just skipped through it because it was pretty much the most boring thing you can possibly watch and now finally day 70 to day 99 I got a benevolent gift again with like a cake pretty much useless but you know, I was thankful I, I was really thankful and after looking at my chest I got one of my chests and you know it was finally for you know saying goodbye and going to the end so I was just getting ready to go to the end I was really happy currently but then these guys spawned and ruined my day it really pissed me off you know, I, I was really mad. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I'm pretty sure they're rare in vanilla Minecraft. But you know, this is not vanilla Minecraft. And this is one block Minecraft. So it doesn't really matter. But they are rare. I also got these small guys. I don't know what the hell they are. But they really got them annoying. Please get them out of Minecraft. They're useless. No one likes them. Also got another monster party. Uh, yeah. Generic monster party. With skeletons. Spiders whatever I, I i did not really have a that much trouble fighting them yes i did die a couple of times but they were so much better than the nether ones that i'm honestly surprised also this was day 100 it was the main day i was really happy to reach this day and just a disclaimer i will not be fighting the ender dragon this video i'll be fighting the ender dragon in 200 days i'll be fighting the first day in the 200 day video so subscribe to see that video but now it was phase 10, the end. I was really happy. So if you guys enjoyed the video, click the like button. I'll be making a part two, 200 days in survival, one block Minecraft. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys then.